Yo. I'm going to talk about. What that say on the title? Yeah, that. I, I think I already made a video about this beforehand. I mean, but. I mean, if I did, then that's okay. I'm just going to do it over. Because I have so many videos that I don't feel like backtracking what I've done. <laughs> so, yeah. About fighting games, of course. I want to get down to a lot of stuff that, you know, that's been, you know, official for, you know, in the PlayStation era and so on. In, back in the day. And unlocking hidden characters is just not there anymore. It's played out. It really is. It's freaking played out. Like, it's all about DLC. It's all about downloadable content and buying stuff. And people milking you to get some of these characters. These extra characters or extra maps or extra whatever. You know, unlock stages or characters or whatever. It's just, you know, unlocking hidden characters is really played out. And, and, and just, it it saddens me that we can't even do that anymore. We have to buy it. We have to buy extra stuff. And the game, and the game is already on the disc. It's already on the disc. Which that don't make no sense to me. Why can't we unlock it ourselves instead of, you know, um... Buying it later for DLC, like six months later, oh, it's available on DLC. I think I remember on Blaze Blue, I think I'm wrong that you can unlock the unlimited versions of the character, but you can also buy it as DLC, which that's kind of pretty common sense. That's pretty cool that you can choose w one or the other, and most of the people, they probably unlocked it by themselves by fighting them. I haven't done it, so I haven't really played Blaze Blue that much. But anyway, I think that's pretty cool. I mean, like the unlimited versions, you can still unlock them on your own because they are in the disc. But you can buy them as DLC if you don't feel like unlocking them. And I think Capcom should do that as well with, with, the, with their upcoming fighting games. They should really do that. They should really take that into consideration. I mean, because I remember, you know, back Tekken 3, I thought I was doing something just by unlocking hidden characters. You know what I'm saying? You know, you play the arcade mode so many times, and you lock all the hidden characters until you couldn't get any more. That was the days, man. Really was. So... That's just my take on it, my input on the, on the stuff, man. I wish it was still in style, or it needs to come back in style. But then you got some fighting games, you unlock one or two hidden characters. What kind of stuff is that? Don't make no sense. But, like, when you lock a bunch of characters, it's like back then you really thought you was doing something. Like, especially when you were younger, you was a kid. So, that that's just, you know, I don't know why unlocking hidden characters is played out now. It's just stupid. It's all about DLC now, and it's kind of like ruining it for me. Because I pay $60 for a game, a full game that I thought... And I'm looking at this crap that there's some additional content into it. Oh, Boris, they don't have room for all of that. You mean to tell me they don't have room for that? And a lot of things they had room for in Super Nintendo, they cannot put enough more stuff on the 360 or PS3? Get out of here! It was a freaking RPG that was like 20 to 60 hours long on the Super Nintendo. And that was Chrono Trigger. I don't think that'd take me that long, though. But yeah, you get my point. It's stupid.